Point groups can help us organize our drawing. So we could do everything that we're, I'm going to do with layers, but we can also use point groups. Point groups can be found in Prospector under point groups, and we can rearrange the order. So let's say I just want to see my wall break lines. So I have a, a point group named walls, and I also have one point group called no display. So if I just want to see the walls, I can use these two point groups to organize my point groups to just show me the walls in the drawing. So I can right click, go to properties, and I can use the up arrow buttons to organize it. So I want walls to show up, and all I want to see is walls. So I can then take the no display, move that up to the top, and then down one. So now walls will be shown, and then no display will happen, and no display in this case contains all of the other shots. And so now all the other points will be ignored. So once I hit OK, it's going to update the drawing. And now I can see I have my wall points down here, and I have my wall points over here. If I want to change my annotation scale to make it a little bit easier to see, I can always do that by changing it to a smaller value. And that's how I can isolate points based on the point group.